favorite I've never shows. heard nobody say they That's my favorite. Them. That's my favorite show. It's like top top five favorite shows. Yeah. And, and it also comes from me watching Better Call Saul because I haven't fin- finished that. And that's like, you know. Just adding more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More yeah. context. Anime wise, shit. I've been revisiting and, and I've been going to season three because I never watched it. I suggest anybody and everybody because there's too many people that have not seen this anime. Watch Psycho Pass. Watch, because I know you ain't see it either, nigga. Watch Psycho Pass. You know, on Netflix? Or Crunchyroll or something? You got Hulu, don't you? I mean, I, you know. Um, it should be on Crunchyroll, though. It should be on there. But uh, there's two seasons in it, it, for sure that you need to see. But three, though. It's three. I'm on the third one now. But, like, yeah, bro. Yes. Yes. Psycho Pass. Psycho Pass. Psycho Pass. Yes. And then and another one I'd even elect, Watch Monster. It's a psychological thriller anime. Um, and I've been on my Boruto shit. I've been on my Boruto. Yeah, I, I've been caught up with all that. So, yeah. you know, I stuck with my Naruto shit. A lot of people fell off when Boruto came around, but I stuck. Off the cliff. <laughs> but nah, those, those things been added to my extra curricular time. Um, I've been slowly but surely picking up on Fallout 4 again. Right. I've been I've been picking up again with that. Um, I killed a couple feral bulls the other day yeah, for about an hour. Um, so no Skyrim, just like Fallout. Though? Fallout, man. I've been hearing people. There's a new DLC for Skyrim. They're still yo, to that. but the mods is even crazier. You know they have a sex on there. Oh my god! But it comes no, the mod is it that. comes from it comes from. No. Getting on top of somebody and you're like low key choking them or something. You can now like go through a struggle war, like you got a yeah. tapping button. But then with their body like that, you can then choose. Like it's a weird like mod. No. While they're like you know subdued or whatever, you can then make the action to have sex with them, which is low key kind of raping them. Right. But it <laughs> but it like... creates an animation like you're in it. And whatnot, but it's so awkward because you know how game physics are when it's not supposed to happen in the right. game. But like, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Skyrim got, and apparently Skyrim. Well, Elder Scrolls about to be the next Bethesda game. Mm. That's gonna take some time though. I, I read that in an article on IGN when they were talking to the oh, head nigga. Yeah, we Elder Scrolls is gonna be the next sense. game coming up, and then Fallout gonna be mad years to come from now. I can believe it. I can believe that. But yo. We don't got to go too deep into this, right? Because this is a hell of a combo, and if not, another shooting for this. But since the metaverse is becoming a thing, right? Isn't it ironic? Because they've been calling this like when GTA meets Facebook. I think that's kind of making it a little... I think that's belittling it a little bit. But it's ironic that they're remastering the GTA trilogy. And they're about to re-release that in... Hindsight of all this, I think within this month, hmm. um, I can't wait to play Vice City again. Um, but I find it interesting because, in hindsight of a time frame when all this is coming into crypto, NFTs, and just how digitally we're working, and now we're coming into a place with the metaverse to where we can now visually and VR almost in a way socially meet, talk, and build amongst people. How in hindsight Grand Theft Auto makes its appearance again and how that's going to be another subconscious thing uh, that digs in our urges of fucking vices. vices yeah. And then think how Metaverse comes along yeah. and how that could put a subconscious like, simulator for oh us. Oh my gosh. You know? GTA on Metaverse? That's Intense. Now that's a whole different game, but that's, that's gonna be intense. triggering. That's yeah. gonna be triggering if that does coincide, because Fortnite's gonna be one of the first yeah. add-ons yeah. to that. Absolutely. And honestly, man, oh man, I mean, we went down a rabbit hole with this one a little bit, but I only bring all that to say that it's a lot of interesting things. I'm not gonna say it's as scary. It's just more yeah. things to keep an open eye right. on, but also a tab on to be aware about. And how the functionality of our awareness and our subconscious in the VR world is working. 
I mean, because all this equates to our crypto and NFTs and right. how we're going to digitally Watching. invest. Because in a way, we've been doing it with add-ons on Xboxes and stuff like that. Right, the whole but, time. And, but now it's going to be either collectibles or things that we put on our avatars. And sooner or later, it's going to be things that's going to kind of relate and resonate within our virtual homes. Our realities, yeah. Which is going to indubitably be our reality. But hopefully you don't get caught in a gist where you lose your sense of it. I, I I hope that's not even possible. That's, I mean, that's shit, what I'm rationalizing. Some people gonna get lost in that I shit. I hope it's not. You that remember that Black Mirror episode people. when that nigga was signed up? His so, damn near his soul to play them his games. Soul. That nigga was playing them games, them horror games, and then he got caught in that shit. And then he felt the pain. He felt them pain. Mm. And then Shorty, who he thought he had an interest with, that Shorty was about to kill his ass. He had to kill her. I'm like, oh, shit. Wow. Yo, I know if, if you never saw that episode, you hit. I cried like, oh, oh man, I cried like a girl in that episode. For real? But that, that was that was, that was was during the time when everybody was asleep. And I seen it because I thought oh, my mother. Oh, you saying everybody was asleep. I, I told you that. I, I yeah, thought my mom yeah, because he, he never yeah, pick up his phone for his mom. And when uh, he seen his mom, his mom was a worrying mess of, of a loop. Okay. That, that shit brought me somewhere deeper. <laughs> Well, you yes. mentioned you mentioned your your mom and you know the, how that made you just think about her. Um, tell us, you know what I mean? Not me, cause I know. But tell everybody more about Virginia, the hometown, your upbringing, because I want to start talking about the music. I put a pen in it earlier, but I want to lead into it. So, what's what's your upbringing and what? Um, what is inspiring to you about it? You know, VA has always, you know, it's, it's kind of weird because, because I didn't really get to know myself until like 11th, 12th grade. And honestly, I had to move out of Virginia and then come back to recognize what my value was within the city. It's so much more for me to still do out there. I feel like I'm, I'm I feel like I'm disconnected with them at times. I miss a lot of my folk out there. I mean, shouts out to Brett, shouts out to Dimitri, that's still out there. Um, but it's like Virginia has taught me a lot about what I need to assure within myself. Philly is what kind of showed me the reality right. amongst a lot of people. Yeah. But when I go back home, it's a lot more chill and reserved. I value those relationships I have down there when I when I have the connections with them still. Because there's only a minuscule amount of people I go check on when I go down there nowadays. Um, it's a lot more calm. The vibes are slower down there. It's a lot more spaced out. Uh, Virginia, I will say, has really developed my art, though. Like, my artistic side of painting and illustration. Um, and honestly, like, it, it's a sense of home that I'll never forget. Um, it's a military town, you know, so it's a lot of conjoining bridges of different elements and size. It's like a melting pot. You know, you get different walks of life that come from different places. A lot of people think of us as the South South because we're down low, but for real, for real, we're not your country bumpkin. Not yet. At least not, and not me, and I'm not of them parts. But, uh, you know, like, Virginia, it, 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 it's, like, it's, it's so much opportunity I had to realize I had to go out and get outside of it. And honestly, when I think of songs like Mama from To Pimp a Butterfly, it's that sense of coming home that makes me feel good. But I can't lie, when I come home, it still feels too still for me at times. And it gives me an urgency of I need to build out here more or I need to work to connect more outside of here and so whatnot. Bring something to add to yeah, it. yeah, like because it, it brings me back to that, 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 that Pink Seas event we had, the first joint we had out there. That was the first real sense of wholeness and fulfillment. I had my parents come out there. Yeah. People from school finally got to see me perform live yeah. for the first time. Sure. And that was the first real idea and identity of this is love. This is yeah. this is this is home. People get to really experience me. And that was the f the realest moment 
in my life where it showed me what I'm capable of doing and where people can really connect and see what you're worth. I was able to bridge people from Philly in my hometown mm -hmm. and connect them with people in VA who I see a lot of value in. So it's like it shows what's possible. It shows what you can be in a hometown hero in a moment. And granted, I don't feel as such, maybe to those who look up to me out there still, who's still tapped in with me, but I just know that that was a place. It, it, was, a, it was a template for me for me to venture into other places to learn who I am because you can't stay in a small spectrum forever. You gotta go and expand. You gotta venture the world. And that's what Virginia taught me because it's still a lack of out there. It's a lack of opportunity. It's so much one way, two way, three ways to get out. You work in the military, you work for fucking Bush Gardens or you work for the shipyard. If you ain't trapping where, where niggas used to get hung at, you, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's only a certain amount of opportunities out there unless you get a college degree type of career. But if you're trying to do more, you got to do a little bit more. You got you to gotta expand more, you know? So. So you mentioned that you know how impactful that show was, but if you don't have, you know, something to present, you ain't got no show. So yeah. where, where is...